It's been 25 years since Toyota introduced one of its most successful electric hybrid vehicles that swept the mass market. The Toyota Prius succeeded, but now Toyota's very first all-electric vehicle will be continuing its legacy. But why should you get one? What is it doing so differently from the rest of the competition? Here are 10 things you didn't know about Toyota's new BZ4X. Tune in to find out more about the vehicle. While it may seem like BZ4X is Toyota's most significant electric vehicle that's hitting the global market in 2023, there's a chance that you've been deceived into believing that. Toyota also launched another electric vehicle a few years ago, so the BZ4X isn't the first all-electric vehicle that it's supposed to be. Instead, the honors of being Toyota's first all-electric vehicle goes out to the RAV4 EV which is a converted zero-emission version of the petrol edition vehicle of the same name. The RAV4 was sold in two generations, from a period of 1997 to 2003, and then from 2012 to 2014, in an effort to meet the strict emissions regulations and targets set by California. It's estimated that a total of 4,000 electric vehicles were produced through these two generations. That's all fine and dandy, but get this, the second generation of the RAV4 was co-developed with the electric vehicle giant of the world today, Tesla. Therefore, Toyota went back to the drawing board to create something independently that would rival the company that once helped them make their first electric vehicle. Now, you might be wondering, just what on earth is up with that hard to pronounce name? Well, the name does have an explanation. The name BZ4X has two components, the BZ part and the 4X part. The BZ stands for Beyond Zero, which is written in a stylized font. Toyota has set out to create vehicles under the subname Beyond Zero, of which the BZ4X is the first to be released. So what about the 4X part of the vehicle's name? No specific information has been given about this part yet. Still, it's speculated that it either refers to the type of car, whether it be a sedan, an SUV, or smaller and larger cars. In an interesting spin of news, trademarks have already been filed for various vehicles in Toyota's EV lineup under the BZ subbrand. These include the BZ1 up to the BZ5, then there's the BZ1X to the BZ5X, which are supposedly the full option counterparts of the electric vehicle. What's interesting about the electric vehicle is its foundation. The foundation has been modeled after a skateboard, which sounds pretty cool to be honest. The platform is called the ETNGA platform, which has a skateboard-style architecture that will be used for all the upcoming vehicles. Toyota couldn't develop this platform alone, so it went ahead and partnered with Subaru to make sure that no compromises were made. What's interesting about the vehicle is how they've positioned the battery. The battery is placed in a flat and low position, making sure that its center of gravity is at its lowest point. This offers great stability to the electric vehicle, making sure that it doesn't topple over while taking sharp turns. The new e-axle setup integrates the electric motor, transaxle, and the inverter components into one unit rather than separate items. Let's talk about the dimensions of the vehicle. The Toyota BZ4X looks like your average modern SUV. The vehicle measures around 4,690 millimeters in length and 1,860 in width. It's 1,650 millimeters off the ground, and the wheelbase is around 2,850 millimeters. Compared to the old RAV4, the new electric vehicle is about 90 millimeters longer overall. The BZ4X sits 35 millimeters lower and lies firmly on a longer wheelbase, which is a perfect fit for the larger 7-seat Kluger, which is approximately 300 millimeters longer when measured from bumper to bumper. While the wheelbase is long and the body is comparatively short, this could in turn translate for increased interior space for the passengers and the cargo. Toyota quotes that the BZ4X has class-leading front and rear legroom. What's surprising about this vehicle is that it features a yoke, just like one of the new Teslas that have been released. But don't don't worry if you're not a fan of the yoke, as the yoke is pretty much optional. Chinese buyers have the option to get a yoke or opt out of it. It's pretty much a truncated steering wheel design that's been inspired by aircraft and modern Formula One race cars. The Tesla's yoke is connected to a traditional steering wheel rack, allowing multiple hand-over-hand -hand rotations, but the BZ4X features a steer-by-wire system, where a physical connection of the steering wheel to the front wheels is changed out for an intelligent electronic interpreting system. This results in just 150 degrees of rotation from lock to lock, which is like a quarter turn in either direction. 
Toyota says that this pretty much eliminates the need to change grips when you're steering and reduces the overall burden on the driver while taking a U-turn, garage parking, and on winding roads. Suppose you're picky about your front, rear, and all-wheel drive systems. Then you'd be pleased to know that the BZ4X comes with two options, the front wheel and the all-wheel drive layout. It tops out at around 150 kilowatts per 25 newton meters from a single electric motor, or 160 kilowatts from two electric motors in the all-wheel drive system. The battery pack features a pretty good range. The battery pack will be available at launch, which features a 71.4 kilowatt hour lithium ion unit that offers a range of a good 500 kilometers. Japan's lenient WLTC testing procedures have provided this information. It'll come down to the consumer to decide if this information is true or not. A bit more about the battery is that Toyota is aiming to provide better battery longevity for the BZ4X. Toyota claims that the brand aims to maintain 90% of the battery's life after 10 years of use, or around a solid 240,000 kilometers of driving. We aren't sure if the 90% figure is a target in ideal conditions or will be offered with an official guarantee. The vehicle can also be equipped with an optional solar roof, which claims to generate electricity. It's not a lot, but it is equivalent to 1,800 kilometers of driving per year. The solar roof is capable of increasing the range of the vehicle even when it's switched off, thus storing energy in the battery of the vehicle. The car can start charging automatically in parking lot slots that have no charging stations with solar power. The solar power system serves as a lifeline during disasters and other emergencies. The development of the Toyota BZ4X and the TNGA platform took place in conjunction with Subaru. Subaru partnered with Toyota under some weird conditions. Subaru will launch its very own version of the BZ4X. It'll be named the Subaru Solterra. The vehicle will have notable differences in regards to body modifications, such as a unique front-end design and revised lighting and signatures. This isn't the first time Toyota and Subaru started a joint venture vehicle development deal. The companies have worked together in the past and have shared the engineering costs of two generations of cars over the past decade. The BZ4X and Solterra are expected to launch in 2023, but there's no idea about the release date in Australia. While the Toyota BZ4X is heading for a global launch sometime in 2023, the Australian market has been pretty much left in the blue, as Toyota didn't address if Australia would be getting a launch or not. Toyota announced that the BZ4X would be launched in North America, Asia, and Europe, but Australia was not mentioned. Days later, the Japanese car giant finally announced that the BZ4X would come to Australia. The first batch of cars would make their way into showrooms in the final months of 2022. While we know a lot about the car, some key elements have not been confirmed by Toyota. It's pretty obvious that Toyota will price the electric vehicle competitively while keeping in mind the rest of the EV competition. The competition as of now is led by the Hyundai Ioniq 5, which starts at around $71,000. Hopefully, the Toyota BZ4X will deliver a solid experience, but we won't know till we get our hands on it. And that's pretty much it. Toyota's first ever home electric vehicle is coming to the market, and the public is waiting for it patiently. We can only cross our fingers and hope Toyota delivers. Join us on our journey as we discover more upcoming exciting electric vehicles.